Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to showcase two cool and unique pets you have probably not heard about until now. One of these pets is from a quest chain, while the other is from an RNG drop, which you can farm all day, so you could get multiple of them. Let us not waste any more time, and let's get right to it. The first pet on our list is Glimmer the Murloc. Before attempting to get this pet, I advise you to get a mount with an increased swim speed, like Otex, Aurelids or Seahorses. To get Glimmer, you have to go to Grizzly Hills, here on the map. You will see a purple Murloc, which will run away if you get too close to it. Once it runs away, you will see a small scale on the ground, which will start the quest chain. This will take you all the way to Borean Thundra. After that, you will get another quest to get back to Grizzly Hills and collect some crab meat. After you get 10 crab meat, you will get another quest to kill a quest NPC and loot its... Fat? Yeah, loot its fat. After that, you will talk to another murloc in the same boat, which will then ask you to collect a giant pearl. Pretty easy, just stay away from the elite mobs around the area. After you return the pearl, you will have to defeat one of the murlocs in a pet battle. Do not be scared, luckily, his pets scale with yours, so if you go into the battle with 3 level 1 pets, his will also be level 1. Then you will have to collect 3 different seaweed stalks. Just be careful not to touch the electric stalks. After this, there is just one quest remaining, and that is to kill another quest mob, this time an elite. Then you return back to the murloc, complete the quest, and receive your glimmer pet. Congratulations! The second pet we are going to talk about is called Lucy, and is from the Shadowlands expansion. Before attempting to get this pet, make sure you have chosen a covenant and have the daily callings quests unlocked. Once you see the quests, check out if there are any called Training Our Forces or Training in Revendreth, Ardenweald, Bastion or Maldraxxus. If you see any of these quests pop up, go and accept them. Now you are rolling the dice if you get the right companion. For Kirin Covenants you need to get Deos as your companion, for Necrolords you need Drex, Nightfay want Twinklewings and Venthyr are looking for Drippy. If you accept the quest and don't get these companions you cannot get the Lucy pet. Also changing the Covenant doesn't work, so if the companion is wrong for Nightfay it is wrong for every other Covenant. Once you are with your right companion, you can just start killing random mobs every 5 minutes or so. Also, do not complete the quest, since once you turn it in, the companion will disappear. Once you kill a mob, there is a chance of your companion digging up some treasure. This chance resets on roughly every 5 minutes, but it happened to me after 3 minutes as well. Here are the voice lines of the companions according to a wowhead comment. And that's pretty much it. Just do this over and over again until you get Lucy's lost color. You can get it more than once, so if you are bored, you can farm this all day. And well, that's it for the video. Since there is just one pet you can sell on the auction house, Lucy, here are the prices of it on EU and US realms. And the random question of the day is... What is your favorite fruit? For me, my favorite fruit is either a watermelon or a banana. But if I had to choose one, I would probably choose watermelon. What is yours? Let me know in the comments. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and make sure to shield slam the subscribe button as well. We are getting close to 400 subscribers, which is quite a big amount of people. I mean, imagine 400 people walking down the street side by side. It's like a mini army. Damn. Anyways, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.